If you have a mystery or chronic illness like long COVID, fibromyalgia, or chronic Lyme, someone has probably told you you have candida. And they're not wrong, we all have candida. It's a fungal yeast that is a totally normal citizen of the human microbiome. We all have it on our skin and in our guts, and like any other reasonable member of American society, it could be wonderful or terrible depending on what side of social media you find yourself on. It's all over social media. On the good side, candida is a builder. It builds biofilms out of polymer-like structures, and I like to think of it as one of these guys from Fraggle Rock. Now, I know I am constantly talking about biofilm excesses and the problems they cause, more on that in a second, but you do actually need some of this goop to survive. It protects your stomach lining from being dissolved by your own acid, and when it's doing its job right, it also hosts a lot of your own healthy bacteria. Unfortunately, there's a bad side, which is that candida is so obsessed with building that when it's not kept in check by your normal flora, it will grow out of control. Grow out of control! Many people have taken a course of necessary antibiotics, only to experience a terrible yeast infection afterwards. That's usually candida. It will even create biofilms outside of the human body, and up to 100,000 poor souls in the US die alone every year because of candida biofilms growing on medical equipment like catheters, mechanical heart valves, and artificial joint replacements. These people die because candida biofilms can very easily become resistant to antifungal medication. Basically, they put up riot shields and we're fighting them with harsh language. Your main defense is a healthy microbiome of non-yeast populations, especially lactobacillus. Probiotics and ferments can be helpful here if done correctly. Sweating is also a very good idea because it reduces yeast on your skin by promoting the secretion of lactoferrin. Just make sure you wait for your sweat to air dry a bit before you shower off so it gets a chance to work. But do shower please, we will all thank you. Shower? Now if you're doing all that and still struggling with a yeast overgrowth, you can nudge it in the right direction by reducing your sugar intake. You can also eat plants that have a high potency of volatile oils that bust up yeasty biofilm and promote healthy bacterial growth. Aromatic things do this really well, so cook with thyme, oregano, rosemary, and sage. That isn't always enough though, so you might also want to know about the secret combination of Attractylodes and Phellodendron. Attractylodes lancea is grown high on the Mongolian plateau where it's exposed to winds laden with fungal spores. In order to protect itself, the plant creates pockets of antifungal volatile oils which humans can conveniently swallow and benefit from. In this study, some poor innocent mice had their immune system suppressed and were then infected by candidiasis. Attractylodes kept them alive. Its buddy Phellodendron comes in afterwards to clean up the mess by harnessing the power of berberine. And it can inhibit candida biofilm growth even when the candida is resistant to antifungal medication. So enjoy pie, take a quata, lift weights, shower, repeat. Mm -hmm.